Yeah, and then he then he's trying to spam that fire move. Ow. Bye. There we go. That's what I wanted. Oh, he finally landed. Alright, so we're back here in, uh, let's see, the Hallowhorn Grounds, up above the, let's see, where, yeah, up above the Sulphur River area, so we're, we're back up here, and about to jump right into a boss battle here. I, I hope I'm ready for this, I think, I think I am, but... I believe this one is more difficult than the first one because we fought this boss before yeah this is regal ancestor spirit so this one is even more difficult than the last one. the music is still fantastic Yep, that's a move there that I'm very familiar with. Three. Okay, it does like to bamf away like that. Okay. That's that's a move I'm very familiar with. Sorry, I wanted to back up there to get some more. Out. Ooh, ow, okay. I need to get out of there. Okay, it definitely healed itself, and it has gone second phase, I believe. Oh, the fantastic music on this. Just great. Okay, use this opportunity to heal up again. And it, so it bamfed back in. Two, three. Oh, I thought I rolled that properly, but no, I didn't, apparently. Ooh. Yeah, that was def definitely new and different. Okay, it did that. Oh, healing up again. I'm not overly fond of its healing, I'll say that. Nice try to donkey kick, my friend. Gotcha. You know, oh, Legend Felt, Remembrance of the Regal Ancestors. So that was one of the, um, so that was one of the, the main, uh, shard bearers. Here's the thing, though. It didn't even pull out the most fun move to go up against that I've seen in playthroughs of this. Did you notice that? It 
quite literally did not. There, so, for context, there's this one move that it does where, much like some of those uh, goats that you see up, up top in the world, that'll, they're the ones that'll kind of roll around. They'll just curl up in a ball and try to roll over top of you like they're a gigantic tire. It that boss can do that, but it didn't. It didn't choose to do that this time, which I'm kind of disappointed by. So I'm I'm back here at round table hold. I could have progressed a little bit and done some leveling up, but there's something I want to do here because I have the serpent bone blade in my offhand and. As far as I can tell, it's a lot like Uchi in a lot of regards. I mean, it requires higher stats to utilize, and it does poison buildup instead of blood loss buildup. But something I'm wanting to do with this is... And I, I believe this is possible. Oh. Ooh, weather deck. Oh. Well, what have we here? How did you get your hands on that dagger? Well, that hardly matters. I know very well whose dagger it is. Why don't I return it to them for you? Good work bringing this to me. Oh! So, that's who we take the dagger to, and then this guy over here. See you safe. So, what do you need? Um, well, let's talk to you. Maybe I should tell you. Lately, I feel I'm on the precipice of falling into a deep, fathomless slumber. And I have an inkling it could spell trouble for you somehow. So I just wanted to get the apology out of the way beforehand, since you're so scary and all. Me? Scary? My name's Rude Dude Guy. My guy, come on. I'm not that scary. Okay. Back to what I was doing before got before that. So, let's head over here to Ashes of War. Equipped armaments. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold up. I want to check something first now. Well, where have you been hiding? I took you for dead. No matter, it's all the same. Lay out your arms then. Let's see here. Okay, it, so it takes regular smithing stones. It is equipped. Um... Huh. So that's the keen Uchi Katana that I've got there. Wait. Maybe maybe this'll maybe this'll say. Sinister katana modeled after a serpent bone, and the densely packed row of spines that jut away from the cutting edge are coated in lethal poison. Um what I'm wondering with this is, can I put, I'm wondering if I can put an infusion on it, and from what I'm seeing, I probably cannot, so let me, let me check, let me just do a quick search online on this, because I, I had this thought between last, last part, after fighting Radon, I'm like, hold up. Could we add a bleed effect on top of that? Um, so, Serpent, Bone, Blade, Elden Ring. Here we go. Um, let's see. Katana and Elden Ring. High Dexterity. Slash and Piercing. Notes and Tips. Um, cannot be infused with Ashes of War. Okay. Well, that tells me what I need to know there. And what I needed to know there was it's not worth having as 
an offhand item if I can't if I can't do anything like that with it. Uh, mm, that's a thrusting one, but that takes arcane to use. There's also that which also takes arcane and does build up. Okay, well, so I might have to increase arcane a little bit. See, that's the thing. I was I was planning on upgrading the Serpent Bone Blade and infusing it, but if I can't do that, means it's not really worthwhile. That's a curved... And that's a curved greatsword. So that's... I don't think that's going to do me much good on that. Scavenger's Curved Sword, on the other hand... Build up of 45, so does the same as Uchi. Uh, it's light enough where still keep a medium load. Uh, so far, I'm, I might be able to upgrade that a little bit. Because honestly, getting that build up proc on a lot of enemies would be fantastic. So, let's see, what? Smithing stone, one, two, three... So I have a lot of each of these. I have enough of each of those to be able to to upgrade that. So let's go ahead, let's go ahead and do that. Back already. No matter. Yeah, yeah, I'm back already. I sorry, I made up I made up my mind in the shopping process, my man. Um let's see, where's it at? Here it is. Scavenger's curved sword. Uh yeah. And I don't want I don't want to use Smithing Stone Six on it, but we so we got it up to a C scaling, and then I believe with that one, because I don't I don't intend on using that as a primary. Uchi is going to remain my primary, but if I want to pull out a secondary item, then yeah, I I can infuse this if I want to. And what I want to... So, it's going to lower the damage inherently on it. But that's fine. So, we could either put a... Oh. That would actually lower the, the, the bleed proc on it. But it would add... It would add poison effects to it. Which would be fun. Or we could do that. Or... Frost build up. I'm at, mm, Oh, but then it gets scaling with intelligence and it splits the damage. Okay, yeah, let's not do that. So that that would build it up to 72. Or we could do that, which would lower the bleed build up, but we'd still get that from having dual wield on that, plus getting a poison build up. So let's put uh Oh, and then then you can change the affinity or or whatever on it. Boy. Uh yeah, I do I do want the the poison on there. In game. This is this is all in game. <laughs> but now we can equip that and it should be fairly easy to utilize. So now we've got a curved sword and a katana where I could I could dual wield those and it would and it would work out pretty well. And then what does that leave runes wise for being able to level up? Okay. So spent a little bit on on improving that, but I believe I can use maybe three of these and call it good. Cause that's six thousand runes right there. Oh, <laughs> okay, 34 runes off. That's, well, that means I don't have to overutilize the runes that are in my inventory on that. I can just pop one of the small ones. Unless I just wanted to pop them all and do level up, but I, I don't want to do that just because 
I would I would be better off waiting. Okay, I could put another point into Dex, but mm, I mean Arcane's not gonna do very well aside from discovery. Could put another point into vigor. Raising health by quite a bit. But endurance is always fun one as well for stamina and max equipment load. Dang it. Um Yeah, let's just put another point into decks here. And then switch back to the underground view. So what I also figured out by looking at this is that last time when I was talking about when I was trying to search uh, for mimic tier and that sort of thing, I forgot that you can jump down onto these buildings. So I, I forgot that this was a thing. Except I might have jumped to the wrong part here. That would be embarrassing, unless you're supposed to go around this side. Oh, yes you are. Knight's Sacred Ground. Rejuvenating boluses. Okay. So it looks like somebody must, some people must have had some bad days around this area. Okay. Another rune arc. Excellent. Can I jump over to this building? Yes. Anything back here that I need to know about? Any secrets? Any juicy secrets? Oh. Juicy. Celestial do. <laughs> nice. Okay. Th this, is, this is an interesting area we found here. So is it mostly a platforming issue that people have been having here? Or is there something else I need to watch out for? Okay, it does look like I can go down there, but there's also a rooftop I can jump up to here to get another silver tier husk. Okay, no, that, win that window exists. That window does exist. And then Okay, people must have attempted to jump to the next building there, which I don't think is feasible. Okay. So I can jump to the rotunda. <gasps> oh, no. Oh. Bye. Bye. Have a beautiful time. Oh, it's this area. Okay. So, the Silver Tears become Mimic Fighters in this area, which is interesting. Uh, okay, Golden Rune 7, and it looks like we can continue on this path. Although, let's, uh, let's just uh, make sure we collect the Silver Tear Husk as well. I'm building up a collection of those. Sh you know, to show Renala to impress her. Just, I mean, just so she can be like, wow, you did that? I can be like, yeah, I did. See? Aren't you proud of me? Okay. Another one for the collection. Okay, and there's another one of these skeletal figures sit seated on a very massive throne. We've seen one of those before, and it was when we were fighting the Dragonkin Soldier of Necron. Oh, boy. Okay. Um. This is fine. Th this is fine, right? Except I see an orb. I've heard horror stories about those. Black wet blade. All right. OK. 
Okay. Oh, there you are. I don't need your services right now. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh! And I do believe I have a stone sword key. Yeah, I do. Okay. It's one of these guys up ahead. Just need to make sure that it's not going to be an ambush. Smithing stone three. What do we get? Mimic Tear Ashes. I mean, I'm not going to use them in this playthrough, I just wanted to get them. Because they're fun. Oh boy. So, you're telling me that there's a ladder that leads down into this area versus actually being able to progress up top, like I would prefer to. And there's another one of those enemies over there. First off, head. So what I'm questioning here is how much can I get away with in terms of sneaking? Oh, don't don't lock onto that thing. Don't lock onto the orb. There's plenty of time for that later. We're just avoiding it. Hey, bro, not, nothing to see here. Go, go back to your business. Go back about your business. Absolutely no problems whatsoever. Also, Sight of Grace confirmed. And I do, I do want to see what that black wet blade does. I'm wondering if I put, uh, if I put the, the, the poison ash of war on too quickly onto this. Oh, it, okay, so it just adds, it adds blood and a cult, I believe. I'm not I'm not too concerned about those. So why why don't we uh Oh right. Okay, this might be an area that I want to run a shield move set. I'm I might want to run with a shield here just because of the way this place is. However, we are doing some pretty good damage output, which I do enjoy. Soft cotton. Nice. Alright. Uh, anything else I need to know about? Hi there. Cool. Ooh, more uh, silver tear husks for the collection, it looks like, over there. And nascent butterflies. Nice. Okay.
Oh, and we've got a we've got a warp point. We've got a teleporter. Teleporter confirmed. Sorry. I I always check my chest. Finger Slayer Blade and Great Ghost Glove War. Oh, Finger Slayer Blade. It's probably going to be up here, I would imagine. Somewhere. Maybe. Uh, I'm always notoriously losing where inventory items go. I... I really ought to put items into storage. I just don't. Clayman's Harpoon, Vikes War Spear. It's not any of these. Clean Bone. Pulley Bow. Where did the Finger Slayer Blade go? Where where is it? I I kind of wish there was like a a search bar that you could type type into with with these games where if you knew what the name of the item was and you you thought you had it in your, your inventory rather than trying Rather than having to scroll through like this to try to look for it, um, it it would be kind of nice to have that. But maybe maybe I'm just looking in the wrong spot for it. Maybe it's a key item. Who knows? Uh, no, no, it's not. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hidden treasure of the Eternal City of Necron. Uh, a blade said to have been born of a corpse. Well, that's always a nice start to things now, isn't it? You got this from a dead guy. In-game. In-game. No demonetization here. This blood-drenched fetish is proof of the high treason committed by the Eternal City and symbolizes its downfall. It cannot be wielded by those without a fate, but is said to be able to harm the greater will and its vassals. Okay. And then, as I said, we do have this warp point, this teleporter, which I am curious about. What I'm also curious about is the fact that I got through here without one of those uh, silver tier guys, or one of those mimic tiers, turning into a giant. I don't know how I managed that, but I did. So, let's warp. BAM! Oh, it leads back to Ancestral Woods. So it means we've got we went all the way through that area. Excellent. That means we can keep progressing. See that that that's just kind of a nice little out of the way sort of place that you can go to. Now that we're back on track with where we ought to be level wise and exploration wise I'm, I'm realizing just how many places I was over leveled for or under leveled for that I went to and still somehow managed to do well Rel relatively speaking I mean some of you guys probably probably watched and went well you could have done so much better with this like there are better strategies for taking on some of those bosses, and you're probably right. I'm not a pro I'm not a professional. I'm no expert at this. I've just played the Soul series and enjoy it, so I'm doing this to have fun. And I hope you guys are having fun right along with me. Which is why I'm also experimenting with this. You know, I didn't have to. I chose to. And it. Whatever chaos happens with that, I am I'm down for it. Oh, this kind of reminds me of uh Anne Orlando in a way. This this uh jumping or dropping onto here and then 
Does that mean I just drop down onto the Sulfur Aqueduct? Okay. Now I saw... Boy, okay. So I saw this guy ov over here. Uh, a lesser crucible knight. Ow! Ow! Whoa! Okay. Oh, I really thought I was rolling that correctly. Nice whiff. Oh, come on. He always fakes me out with that initial... That initial movement. Ow. You know, you seem much tankier than the other ones I've dealt with. There we go. Oh, you went back that way. It would have been so much funnier had you gone out the side here. Um, okay. That fire breath attack. What are you supposed to do about that? And then you're rude on the heel. Hate this guy. Gosh dang it. Yeah, and then he then he's trying to spam that fire move. Ow. Bye. There we go. That's what I wanted. Oh, he finally landed Crucible Horn Shield. So he he was a mini boss. I can confirm that. So, uh, we, we got his fun loot. Obviously, we can't use it, but Great Shield of Red-Tinged Gold carried by Crucible Knights features a great horn. An ancient holiness dwells within. The Crucible Horn skewers foes when performing shield bashes. And its skill is shield bash. So now that he's been dealt with, we can continue on our merry way. Through this place, I might have had a bit of a voice crack there. Don't mind me, it happens. Just having a little bit of fun. Okay. Then there's that guy over there. Which I... Which I do kind of want to give him a bad day. Ow. Jerk. Dukist Herba. And some flasks of Crimson Tears back. <sighs> okay. Alright, alright. Um. Oh, come on. It. Oh, no. I was really hoping to get the backstab on that, and it did, it did not. Oh.
All right. Oh, okay. Nice whiffs. Nice whiffs. Oh, okay. I thought I had rolled through that correctly. Gotcha. Somber Smithing Stone 6. Okay, so that tells me that that was a mini boss as well, and we dealt with him swiftly. Cool. I, I'm always glad to get 3,000 some runes from each of these enemies and not have to deal with them again. That's very nice. Oh, and uh, are you... Oh. I feel like this one's going to explode. Order healing, never mind. And golden rune 7. Another one of those. Okay, so where do I... Yeah, I, I guess... Well, okay, let's grab this item here and then head back. It looked like there was a corridor that we'd go along. Golden Rune 13! That's the largest Golden Rune we've gotten up to this point. So, probably worth maybe 5,000 runes? I don't know, I could be wrong on that, but I know they get... I know the level of runes that you can get from those gets up to some insane number. Okay, Golden Rune 6. A little bit of a downgrade there. More of those guys, but they're all on that side of the chamber. Alright, and a Rune Arc. Plus, Flask of Crimson Tears back. Excellent. Okay. Ambush. We'll just run into this room here. And deal with them one by one. Spirit Flame Arrow. See... There, there's a secret behind a waterfall. Ah, oh, boy. The amount of times I've wanted from software to do something with secrets behind waterfalls. There's a secret room. Okay, nobody hanging around on the ceiling or walls. Smithing Stone 4. A little underwhelming, but that's fine. I can deal with that. What is this? Golden Centipede. Glad I grabbed that. And then that's just an engraving on a pillar. Okay. Okay, somebody was uh, doing a little up-down action there. <laughs> Alright. Oh no. Oh, I know where I am. Let's see. How far... How far is it to the nearest... Uh, okay, aqueduct facing cliffs. That was where the last site of grace was. And then... Okay. Those Crucible Knights, though, were mini-bosses. So we could... I mean, if this doesn't go well, we could just bum-rush past those... Uh, other guys again. Valiant Gargoyles. Oh, I'm poisoned. Ow. Well, that's less than ideal.
Something tells me I'm not going to be able to bleed this guy either. Ow! Ow! Okay, is this the fight that has two of them at once, or just the one? Oh, no! Oh, okay. It is. It's, it's the one that has both of them, and I... Okay, Stake of America, though. I was gonna say, there, there probably did need to be a Stake of America on that. Okay, this is another one of those tough boss battles. Oh, boy. Wait. Okay, yeah. Maybe there was just a staircase that led up to it. I, I, I guess I wasn't paying much attention to it, because I got to the top, got inside the boss arena, I was like... Or got to the boss arena, I'm like, I know what this is. Um... Ah, no time to heal? Are you kidding me, man? Okay, that was a good amount of damage we did to him there. Oh! Uh-oh. Here comes the other one. Now... Um... Oh, gosh! He just sprayed the poison in there, and there was nothing I could do about it. Oh, man. My goodness. This is definitely a tough one. Yeah, and I, I, I don't think... I definitely do not think I can bleed the... The gargoyle, so I just... I have to fart... S pff, fart? <laughs> um... Yeah, brain fart. I need I need a brain fart. Yeah, that's what I needed to do. Okay, I want my runes. I don't know where they went though. Ow. I couldn't get out of the way. I couldn't get out of the way of that in time. Game, where are my runes? Where are my runes, game? Dang it, I stepped in your stink. Ow. No, 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 no. 
Dang it. Nice whiffs. He breathes his poison right into that area. I've, I've still got the stink on me. Ow. Okay. Ow. Yep, so I, I lost the runes because I couldn't find them. I did a little bit better on that one. I was trying to manage them, take out the one Valiant Gargoyle before tackling the one with the Twin Blade, which is definitely the strategy you want to take on this. Or, you know, see if you can do one at a time. But yeah, losing 17,000 runes, that, that hurts a lot. Oh, come on. I thought I rolled that correctly. Okay, maybe... I was trying to get out of the poison of, of the Twin Blade Valiant Gargoyle, and I I don't know the roll timing on that charge with with the Halberd, which is rough.
Um, but definitely doing charged attacks seems to be fairly effective at doing some damage. Okay, somehow I took damage already, and I don't know how. Okay, I know how I did there. Thought I botched the roll timing, definitely whiffed a couple times. Okay, I think I think this guy's axe is doing Oh Okay, that does damage just that spin around there. Nice whiff. What? Well, that seems less than ideal, that. Ow. Ow! Stop bunching up on each other, please! And let me lock onto the correct one, as well. Oh, don't really... Okay, he's spewing poison. This one jumps towards me. Ow! Okay, he's spewing again. And that's the... That's the arena wall there. That is not where I want to be. I only have four flasks left. Uh, and they're just sitting in the stink. I don't know. Oh, get me out of this. Okay. I'm not ready for this boss battle yet. D the difficulty tier spike has just... Oh my gosh. The di the difficulty has increased so much here. I I need to re I need to rethink some of my life choices in game. Um. So with that in mind, what else can we do here? Hmm. Trying to I'm trying to see if there's anything that I've missed out here. No, but maybe there might have been something up by Landell Royal Capital that I missed. 
or up here. Some sort of uh, a cave or something. Perhaps. That's that's probably nothing. That, well, yeah, probably nothing. There was. Um, let's see. Where where is it? It's abandoned coffin. Here it is. Gelmir Hero's Grave. Let, let's see if this is more doable than... than the gargoyles. See, you remember back in the old days when it was Dark Souls 1 with just the... The bell gargoyles, and then Dark Souls 2 with the the Belfry gargoyles. Uh, those skeletons take a lot of hits. I'm starting to have regrets about coming here. Oh, and it's just gonna... It's just camping here? <sighs> okay, go. And a grave file. Excuse me. Oh, regrets. Sorry, I, I thought I timed that correctly, but I was just a moment too soon. See, this is like Undead Purgatory from Dark Souls 2. Ooh. Hang on, we've got something here. Oh, it's one of these guys. Okay. I'm familiar. Ow. Ooh, and another one. Popular enemy type down here. Alright, and we've got a Ghost Glove, or Grave Glove Wart 7. You know, if this is Grave Glove Wart 7, and Grave Glove Wart 6, I might be well out of my league once again. But, we'll continue fighting through.
Okay, is that... We could also go this way. This is probably a trap, right? See, it's less effective when I see your trap coming. Just racking up the runes down here in a golden rune 6. So I'd say the, the difficulty here is probably on par with that of the, ar the area we found within Necron. Okay, stone sword key. Ow! <sighs> There's just not much you can do with that. I swear. Oh! Boy. Boy, this episode. Be dumb. Human bone shark. Oh, and I touched the lava. That's not great. Yeet. Bye. Ba da da. Da da da. That's just unfortunate for you. Nice. He was just about to get it back up to. Okay, how far up is that going? Okay, we need to time this so that we start running when it goes when it gets past us. Now. Okay, it's going to turn around and come back, and we're fine. Yeah, none of that. Row fruit, herba. Okay. 
They're down. Ghost Glove Wart 7. Okay. Oh, yeah, no, that's that room. I don't want to go in there. I want my runes back, which are... Annoyingly up there. No, why'd you... Dang it. Uh, instead of doing what I wanted it to do, it... It switched... I switched the sword. I didn't want to do that. Nice. That's why you, and that is why you don't play in traffic. Well, this is less than ideal. Of course they'd put an enemy you can't see there. Of course they'd do that. A shadow monster? Are you kidding me? Why would you do that? Why would you put that there? That's just rude. And my guy's name is Rude Dude. I went to rain on your parade, and you did that? You kidding me? Ow. Nice. Ba 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 ba. <laughs> Ow. Somehow I touched the lava on that. Boom! Bye. Let's do this. Platforming successful. Ow. 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 Oh. That's that's kind of an annoying move set you've got there. Okay, note to self, do not make the same mistake as last time.
Nice. Nope, timing's wrong. Mantis Blade. Mantis Blade. Huh. Okay. Interesting. So... You're telling me I somehow have to get through that lava area? Didn't expect stealth, but I did it. Oh, sneaky, sneaky. Okay. Smoldering butterfly. I see. So then, how do I get back up there? Maybe I don't. Maybe I go this way and I maybe find a site of grace? Oh, well, there's a ladder. It's one of these guys, okay. Blood Knight armor, s Bloodhound Knight armor set. Okay, how good is that compared to what we're wearing already? It's not in that. Not in that. Not in that. And I'm going to guess, yeah, not in that. It's meant for... Oh, Gelmir Night Helm armor set. Oh. Okay. That... Not satisfying me there yet. Nope. Yep, yeah, no, what we're wearing is already better. So, then... <gasps> oh, oh. Wait. So what am I supposed to do now? Where am I supposed to go? What is this? Because that... Just becomes lava right there. And, I mean, lava is detrimental to my, to my health in game. Seek down, according to that. You... Oh, come on. So maybe maybe I retrace my steps there and look for something that I might have missed. Because I... I don't think I can go through that lava. I, well, no, I... I'm fairly certain I can't. On that. So, head down this way. Uh, something about good fortune... 
Okay, so we were in this chamber, right? First off, right, and then ladder. So maybe we were supposed to go up this ladder. Maybe, maybe I just missed something up here. I'm seeing a lot of messages. Dang it. Oh boy. Safety? Question mark? This really seems less than ideal. Yeah, no, there's no way to get through there. So, there go all those runes. I am stumped, people. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. So, I guess I will uh, end this one here and get back to you guys on that. When I, when I learn more on that. But until then, I'm the Nerdy Librarian saying thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. If you liked what you saw, don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment, ring that notification bell. You know... The old, uh, ye old ding, 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 ding. Make sure you tell your friends about this YouTube channel and tell other people about this. But until then, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.